All right, today we're here working on a piece of furniture. This is a flipping furniture video. So my daughter picked up a couple pieces of furniture at a store where they sell furniture for a dollar. So the furniture was in kind of a little bit messed up condition. We're gonna turn this dollar furniture into a $400 piece of furniture with a few little steps. We're gonna be using today some um, Verithane repair markers. Gonna be using some Verithane wood stain. Gonna be using some crocodile um, cloths right here to do some cleaning, diamond sanding sponges, and a 2K poly to make this thing uh, from $1 to a, um, a $400 piece of furniture. Just a few little supplies, um, uh, $12 for some Verithane, a few dollars for some markers. We've got a bag of crocodile cloths, um, you know, not even a dollar for some Eka Diamond sanding sponges and a gallon of a 2K poly. Just any 2K poly, you know, that's available to you will work. Now we got some furniture that it's kind of um, like a thermal foil furniture right here. And it's got some of the paper Coney torn off of it. We're going to be using these Verithane markers to touch that up so you won't even see it anymore. I use Verithane markers right here. Here's a set of them. It's got all different colors, the three colors colors we're using today is a gray because the furniture is predominantly gray but it does have some browns in it I do if I want to draw in some like grain and stuff or something's really dark I just use a black sharpie marker but I do start off by just cleaning the furniture I'm going to use crocodile um, power scrub cloths right here because I want to make sure there's no contaminants so I don't get any fish eye on it so I'm just going to wipe it down first with my crocodile cloths and then we're going to begin doing a little bit of sanding kind got some edges that are raised up especially on the feet on some of the um, doors and stuff we're just gonna be sanding these edges prior to doing any of our staining I do like just having a water-based stain so I picked a color that's just a stock colored carbon gray right here that kind of matches the furniture because I like to blend in my markers with a, a wetter stain that kind of blends them in together so we're gonna get on to this process I'm going to show you we have this um, dress and then we've got a nightstand that had um, some of the big chunks of paper torn out of it and we're gonna fix those so you can't even see it so we're taking a dollar piece of furniture for my daughter gonna turn it into a $400 furniture and help her get to Ireland so the first step in this process I'm just gonna you know wipe my furniture down really good with a crocodile cloth once again so I don't have any contaminants on here so I don't cause any fish eye when clear coating it. Just gonna wipe it down. Um, I like using rubber gloves just because of the stain. Crocodile cloths are uh, really safe for your skin. Doesn't irritate my skin, but I still like to wear gloves because of the stain. I don't want to get the stain on my hands or the markers. So we got quite a few drawers to do. If your piece of furniture or whatever you're doing is extremely dirty. You wanna just switch out cloths. If you start to see a lot of um, contaminants on your cloth, you wanna switch it out because you don't want to spread any type of contaminants on your surfaces. So just switch them out often. I can start to see some, you know, nicks and dings, especially on the feet, probably from transporting a lot. We got some edges here that are white that need to be stained. The crocodile cloths dry really fast, so you don't have to wait too long. We did have a cigarette burn or some type of burn on the top of it. We'll be sanding, trying to eliminate that also. Now I'm gonna do any type of sanding I need to do. I got my Eka Diamond sponges, especially the feet down here from sliding around. Wanna get burrs and edges knocked off on these feet I typically keep uh, several Echidima sponges in, in several different grits um, this is a really fine grit there's nothing really rough on here I need to sand now once that's where I'm gonna get ready to do some touch-ups with some of my markers and we've got like an edge right here that's really white right here. I'm gonna show you how 
we're going to eliminate this with the marker. I'm just going to run my marker right along this edge, just like that. It just got rid of that white. These markers work absolutely amazing. So it's kind of a worn edge that's worn that thermal foil down white, just like that. I'm going to wipe it with my stain. Come down here. We've had multiple spots on here we worked with yesterday. Now we're just finishing it up. Let's see, show you. Lift this up. We got the feet down here. We got kind of some raised scratches, burrs. Once again, I like to use, I'm just, I dip this in, it's wet with my stain. I'm gonna wipe it down. And it kind of blends in that marker so it doesn't leave just a marker mark. Just put a little bit of stain on my rag and it'll re-wet that marker. We've got some spots on the side over here where we've torn through um, the paper. And show you, I'm gonna use two different colors of markers over here. So any small little, next we'll just use the one color, blend it in, just work on these feet down here again. These back, the back feet were a little scuffed up. take a look at some drawers so we got this drawer right here any small spots like that I don't need to blend colors but I could add a little bit of brown in there because this does have grays and browns in it let's hit this edge the edges get worn turn white so it's hitting those edges it's like that you don't even see it anymore got some edges on our top this is the most important part this is the part that everybody sees got some small scratches on this side we can eliminate Some of these scratches are right in the brown, so I'm just gonna use brown. Go over it with my gray rag. Helps blend it. You can see now down here, you know, this foot is pretty dinged up. Let's run this right along that edge. Just tilt it back, do the other foot, back foot. It's got some good scratches on it too. And once I'm done this, I'll get ready to clear coat it. I'm gonna wipe it down really good with my stain. Check it over really good. Make sure I got all the white eliminated. There's some white right here. That's the bottom where you, the drawers, you won't even see it, but we definitely want to do that too. If you see any contaminants, you want to clean it well. Just these crocodile cloths don't leave any residue behind that uh, will cause any type of fish eye. So they're good to use. Now, just to start off before I start spraying, I got these rollers right here i'm just going to put some frog tape on these rollers so no clear coat will get on the rollers so their rolling won't get affected i'm not spraying anything 
inside. I'm not spraying this, but um, just in case, just just using frog tape delicate, so it'll come off easy. Just using that inch and a half because it covers right over that roller nice and easy. We got our glides right here. The drawer glides, I just throw some on top of the drawer glides. Now I'm gonna spray a clear coat on here. Uh, you typically wanna wear a mask when I'm doing some explaining, you know, while I'm spraying it. I'm just using a Tritec 306 tip spraying a 2K poly that's not catalyzed, so it's 1K. So I'm just gonna work uh, my sides and front and do the top last. Just spraying a nice thin coat that's gonna dry fast. I'm using a low sheen. I want it to look flat. more on the top because that's getting the most abuse. I'm gonna let that dry for about 15 minutes. Do a light sand and we'll do another coat. So I'm just masking out the drawers so I don't get any overspray inside the boxes. It's like that and we'll just spray our boxes. Oh, that's like so we're just going to spray our drawer. So I've got my pressure set really low. It's only around 1500 PSI. So we got about $65 in materials. We're trying to take a uh, dollar dresser. We're going to try to sell this for $400 and we'll let you know if we if it sells before we post the video we'll post it in the video what it actually sells for but using facebook marketplace to you know sell these items so we'll see how it goes but i believe it's a 1200 dollars dresser set so i believe we'll be able to get around 400 dollars for it so just examine your piece whatever piece you're working on and just use a crocodile cloth just to clean that thing off. And I originally tried to just start off by just using a wiping stain and, you know, because it's a thermal foil, wherever the white was, it wouldn't accept the stain. So I switched over to the markers and the markers were absorbing in really well. So it worked out a lot better. The crocodile cloth, they do have a textured side on one side. So if you have stuff that needs to be scrubbed off, they work at scrubbing off stuff really well. But just prior to doing anything, make sure it's all cleaned. I'm just masking using one inch frog tape, a hand masker. I mean, if you don't have a sprayer, you could easily do this. If you're flipping furniture, you could just brush on a clear coat and it's not going to go as fast, but you'll save money in masking and, and you don't have to buy an expensive, elaborate airless sprayer. Not everybody has access to that. You could use a HVLP sprayer. Once again, you should wear a mask. I'm just not wearing a mask right now because I'm trying to explain all this stuff in the video. So we got our knobs too. They were a little bit soiled and dirty. So I'm just gonna wipe these off with my crocodile cloth. It'll clean them really fast. We don't wanna put dirty hardware back on. So I'll just wipe them off. Because we, I'm using a, a 1K poly, a 2 or 1K poly dries super fast. So I can actually put this, I'll have this piece of furniture if you have, you want to have an idea how long it's going to take this. And we're talking probably two hours 
two to three hours to do this piece of furniture to be ready um, it'll be assembled you know within three hours ready to be placed on the market for sale so i mean if you're kind of looking at how much is it worth is it worth your time you know hourly wage i mean if i can turn around sell it for four hundred dollars you know and have a 65 dollar investment that's a pretty good return the materials i mean it's it sounds like i mean even 65 dollars it's really not even that much because the markers um the clear coat uh a gallon of that clear coat will probably do like 10 pieces of furniture these markers will last for probably four or five pieces of furniture at least um so we're talking the amount of money and materials you know if it's a multi-piece of furniture investment you're probably like even half that i've only got you know one roll of paper two rolls of tape but all that will last you know for you know same thing probably 10 pieces of furniture crocodile cloths there's these things are huge cloths they're ex extremely big they last a long time they don't tear they don't wear out at all so great product in a bag there's what 80 80 crocodile cloths in here and i'll probably use four or five on this piece of furniture so our handles are all clean ready to reinstall once again the beauty of a these products i like spraying these polys is um they dry so fast they dry 30 minutes to an hour and they sand within an hour recoat so you can um sand recoat reassemble in eight uh, within less than eight hours just like that a thing is you know, literally i just did that an hour and a half ago handles back on there so it can make flipping the furniture very profitable because you can do it really fast so i'm just gonna instead of it just being a circular cigarette burn i'm just gonna feather it feather it out so it's not so obvious that it's a a burn so i'm getting ready to do our final coat on this top there's trying to blend in that cigarette burn pretty bad spot there's some water damage and then some red dye from something that got in some of these spots i'm just trying to go over that red dye to hide it blend it in um i did feet the feet were all loose on it and underneath there's some allen wrenches i tightened up the feet on it the center post busted through just ran two metal brackets underneath some screws in the top of those panels that cover the the bottom you don't see it because the drawers install in there but it's getting pretty close to our final coat being ready to be sprayed I'm, this is a water-based stain too so you it's um, compatible with our water-based coating so it doesn't have to dry and cure you can go over it right away with your clear coat it's getting close to being ready to be sprayed just got it in the sun just heating it up to dry a little bit faster once again this is you know it all depends on what your know, expectations are this is just a furniture flip if this was for a customer we'd be treating it you know a lot differently but we're just trying to maximize your profit on here just make this thing look nice to get rid of some of the problem issues why it was at a furniture store for a dollar so um the it's kind of interesting there's a store that we go to quite often and they almost every day they have furniture for a dollar with a, just a little bit of work you can turn it and flip it and um and make a good profit on it getting close we're just a couple hours into it i'll be reshooting it one more time and then we'll be installing the drawers it'll be good to go
So there you have it. We're probably about three and a half hours into this you know, furniture makeover. We're going to, we've got it posted now on Facebook Marketplace. We'll see you know, what we can get for it. We'll let you know, uh, once again, about $65 into it. Hopefully we're gonna get anywhere from four to $500. All reassembled, put back together, functioning great. Um, all the nicks and dings are gone. The bottom one, the worst ones, I don't know if you can tell where it's at, man, the really huge ones, they're blended in nicely. We got some here on the corners that were you know, pretty bad that blended in nicely, all the edges, everything's functioning. We use some Gorilla Glue to fix uh, some of the hinges, or not the hinges, the sliders that were loose. So we fixed that, fixed the bottom, it's all ready to go. Now let's see what we can get for it. Always pick the same seat and feel the fire in the room when we sing the same tune.